All right, so we got a lot of functionality here already. We can add categories, we are, we are reading it, and we can delete them. Now let's go ahead and add a functionality to edit the categories, right? So what we want to do is add another form. Let's copy this form right here, all right? Once we copy it, then we go here and see it in action right there. Well, action is not in action yet, but it will be soon. All right. So let's change a couple things here first. Let's change the edit, uh, this name, the value name. Let's change this name also here. Let's edit. Actually, let's call this update. Why not? Because that's what we're going to be doing, updating, right? All right. So I think we're good here. And the next thing is just to create a PHP. All right, so just to let you know what we will be doing right now is adding a link right here on the right hand side. So if you want to pause the video and try that on your own, you can. We're going to add a edit link and when we click it, we're going to be able to echo the values from this side here. And then when we click here, it's going to update it. All right. All right, so let's do that. So let's open a PHP tag and Oh, of course, it's going to take me all the way to the right. Love that, right? Love that. Let's make a... As a matter of fact, we do have this query down here. Why not use that instead? Let's use this whole thing here. Why are we writing stuff down again, right? When we have it here. Perfect. Great thing about copy and pasting, right? So we're going to edit a couple things here. So we're going to select categories where what? ID. As a matter of fact, before we do that, before we... we we get we're getting ahead of ourselves. We need to add the little link, right? So let's copy this and paste it. I like to do a lot of copy and pasting. It saves a lot of time, don't you think? I know you think so. Let's change the parameter that we're all sending, the key of the get super global, which is gonna be edit now. And let's change the link right here. Edit. Right? So we're gonna have to catch it here, right? So we're going to say if is set and what is is set the get what what was the name of it again the key edit that's right you got it right all right so if it's set then we want to do all this query and all this great stuff that we're doing right here right all right perfect so we want to catch it make sure that you catch it right here cat and name it something else right put a, a, a variable to get that value so that way we can have the value in a more flexible way I think a variable will do fine for us so we're gonna say where cat ID which is a column in the database in the categories table equals what can you pause the video and guess and think a little bit cat ID right here all right, that's the get request variable there. Perfect. So let's change this a little bit and let's call this, what do we want to call it? Select categories. I don't know. ID. That's fine. At least we make it, we want to make it a little different, all right? Because we already have this variable down there and we don't want it to conflict with anything. All right, so this result is going to come here. And once we have this, what do we want to do? We need to echo something out, but we need to break out of this loop here so we can put some HTML. We need to make sure that we catch that right here before we have some errors there, right? Make sure you catch that PHP. Open it right here just to get this PHP curly bracket. The reason we did that is because we want this whole piece inside the loop of HTML, right? And here we're going to have to make a, this is where, the, and this value here is where we're going to put the, we're going to be echoing the value from the table, right? Right here on this value attribute. So what we want to do is if set, actually let's do some PHP here. We're not in PHP, I forgot. So PHP, let's close it out and we are ready to write some PHP. So if it's set, we want to get actually the cat title. That's what we want to check for. If it's set, then we want to. If it's set, we want to echo the 
cat title. All right. Hopefully we get some errors on this time. I don't want to get it perfect all the time. It's fun, right? All right. So if you think having errors in your code is fun, make a discussion and let me know, right? I think it's fun. But that's just my opinion. You can have your own opinion. All right. So let's see. Let's check this one more time here. Make sure that I think we're good. I think we're good. What do you think? Right, we might have a mistake or two. I don't, I don't even want to. I don't even want to check right now because I want to have some type of mistake in our code. Yes, we're missing something. All right, so what can we possibly be missing? Oh, dun, 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 dun. all right. So we have. We are missing unexpected. Ooh, in line eighty-seven. What could that be? All right, read your mistake really well. All right, so. The reason, oh, come on, it can't be that easy. Can't be that easy. Ah, there we go. And the file on 198. We, yes. So we are not closing something. Great. So, pum, pum, pum. If it's set, echo this. And uh, it can't be that easy either. Come on. Make it a little hard. Make it a little hard. <sighs> All right. So anyways, if we click on edit, then we get the edit value right here. We click on edit again, we get the bootstrap. But we can't update it right now. We can't do that because we haven't actually made the query for that yet. All right? I know, I know, I know. We have to make the query. I'm going to leave that for another video. What do you think? I think this video is already getting too long for this. So anyways, I'll see you on the next lecture. And it was a pleasure like always. And we're going to be doing some other techniques because I don't want this button there to be on this form like this I don't want it to be there so we're going to be excluding we're going to be importing this from another place in our CMS system so that way every time we click it it appears here we will not see anything in the beginning just like we did in the demo demonstration All right so I'll see you in the next lecture and take care